its power, you see, is all I ever wanted. And with this, no. I will have everything! Hey, this is Tamara, signing on with some more of Devil May Cry 5. Alright, last time we played as Nero as he made his way towards where V was and we fought a boss after some cool platforming, actually. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Cool platforming. Don't know why it squeaks so bad. So, next up, we got the next divergent path, which is Dante's. So, let's just do it. <coughs> That's about all there is. Now we're just doing Dante, who's probably most of his way back to Eurasian by now. <clears throat> mm, sorry. No hard feelings, guys, but this is my gig. Trust me, Nero. This one's gonna be a little too much for you. But it might not be too much if you, for all three of you working together, if V would actually explain what the hell this whole situation is to you, and if you just be nicer to everybody. Uh, sorry. I'm really, when it comes to Dante, this game has just like really soured me on him in a lot of ways because it just makes me realize he's made the same mistakes across the entire series and never learns from them. And every character then trying to compete with him because he's so cool are now also becoming cocky, self-centered, and putting their ego ahead of everyone else's safety so mm. all right this is the real deal full speed ahead yeah the sooner we're done with your section the better uh, Dante might be nah it's not really a complaint Dante might be a little too oh too complicated because he's just got so many things he's got his styles now he's got two devil trigger modes now he's got a freaking hat that consumes your upgrade material. Which, yeah, I put a lot of points upgrading because I go, maybe it's not so bad. No, it it sucks. Like, you just drain... Um, you just drain red ores whenever you try to use it. Even if you just try to use it to finish off an enemy. I don't... It, it's easy. You can see easily how many red orbs you lose when you try and use it, but you don't really get a good grasp on how much you gain when you actually kill an enemy with it. But, I don't know, maybe I'm using it wrong because I've, you know, seen people talk on, like, forums that maybe it's overpowered and it's too good. I just find it weird how, you know, why have that weapon, you know, it just seems, I'm sure, because the cost of it seems negligible, so I don't think the weapon was planned, like, supposed to convince you to buy the microtransaction for red orbs. Like, that's kind of what I thought at first. How fast does it drain? Yeah, I just lost 500, and I don't know if I gained that back and then had a surplus that was enough to really justify it. But again, I don't know. And again, that's at, like, the third upgrade. The fourth and final upgrade for um, its um, orb gain is, like, I don't know. It is, it's, like, 500 thousand orbs which is ridiculous <clears throat> I suppose the taunts are you know well over three million a piece and you got three of those so it's this feels really dumb yeah this move just seems like hemorrhage orbs I don't know it just it seems really dumb and counterproductive and it just makes the microtransaction for red orbs just seem a little bit more skeevy when you got a weapon that drains them, you know? It just doesn't seem right. That might be a bit of a reach, and, um, you know, that might be a bit of a reach conser considering because, you know, I don't suppose you would use Faust all the time and drain over 100,000 red orbs like that, but it just still seems like, it just makes it look even weirder that those two are in the same thing, you know? It still, it just makes it seem weird that there's a microtransaction for red orbs when you got a weapon that exclusively shoots red orbs. It just, it makes it look even weirder. Oh, I don't think I have air hike. Oh, oh well. Should have thought of that. Doesn't matter. 
And now he's got this sword. Which also summons, like, little swords. Which is something that Virgil and the Devil May Cry reboot did. That was really cool, but I suppose it's different for Virgil because... Well, really. I'm trying to remember the moveset because... At least with Virgil, you could launch... Well, you can launch these two, but not, like, pinpoint... A similar idea, different implementation. But not that different. That's all I'm saying. Again, despite how many people crapped all over the reboot, this game sure is adopting a lot of similar things that the reboot did, and no one seems to be complaining about it anymore. Again, I almost wish if you're using Faust, they gave you a little meter to tell you how many orbs you gain after you lose some. So then at least you could get a better grasp on, you know, how much you're actually gaining from using it. Because on the outset, it seems like not much. I suppose that hat trick throw is actually pretty cool. Whoops. Yeah, that's what you get for no air hike. Oh, well. You got two de devil trigger modes, which is cool, don't get me wrong. It just seems like, oh boy, there's a... Dante became co very complicated. You know, on top of three different weapons and probably another one on the way here. I don't know. I shouldn't complain about... I shouldn't be complaining about Devil May Cry having too complicated a combat, because it's satisfying and all, it's just like, there's a lot with Dante, and one of those items really sucks. Not a very classy finish or battle, but it's done. It's out of the way now, so we can get to the next battle that won't be classy. Or at least I won't make it classy. Whoops. You complained about Dr. Faust and why do I still have it equipped? Eh, I'm trying to make use of it. Purple Orb Fragment, one more, we got another Devil Trigger Gauge. Whoops. Yeah, 47. And then I guess that's kind of one of the other things that bugs me, though, is that as you upgrade Dr. Faust, it makes it more expensive to use it. And that just seems so backwards. Apparently the rewards are bigger, but how? again, how can you really tell when you're losing orbs so quickly that, you know, it just disappears? So how much are you act? you know... be nice to get, like, you know, more specific numbers on... Can we just avoid that thing? Screw that thing. Screw Dante. Screw this mission. Let's just go. <laughs> I'm being bitter. Maybe overly so, but... Ah. Dang it. 
Timing is off. Not doing too great. Not doing too great with Dante in general, um, as far as combat goes. So let's keep resorting to similar moves. Oh, that's somebody else. Okay. He can have their fun. I them a stylish anyways. It's not like I'm watching their combat and grading them. Like some kind of overseer and trying to laboriously grade. It's like, is this guy really worth a stylish? I need to assess through, you know, a couple of cracks in the wall so I can air barely see. How would I rate somebody? Well, it's one thing, but why don't you laboriously grade somebody's performance, like, while you're playing the game? It's one thing if you're watching, like, a video or something like this, and then, you know, crapping all over my fighting style. But to, to like, do it in-game and, like, letic you know, meticulously watch somebody through, again, usually a crack in the wall. I don't know. Who, who does that? What jerk does that? Just give him a stylus because he was there and contributed, I suppose. Onward and downward. Oh well, better get to it. Statue. Save the orbs for someone interesting, like Nero or V. Although they're making V a lot more uninteresting. Well, and Nero too. They're ruining my boys. Uh, I shouldn't say my boys, because that sounds douchey. They're making, you know, the other guys less interesting, because they're trying to make them act just like Dante. Oh, hey, Cerberus, it's been a long time. King Cerberus. This sounds familiar. <laughs> oh, easy there, fella. Hey, I remember stinky little boots just like you. You insult me, foul sentient creature. Looks like your master's got you on a pretty short leash. Come on, little puppy. I'll take you out for a walk. Come on, let's go. You have fought our king the best. They were weak, but we will feast on your flesh and gnaw on your bones. Was that the exact same thing Cerberus said in Devil May Cry 3? I'm trying to remember, it's been a while. You're the strongest in the litter. Looks like we're gonna need a bigger leash. Come. All right. You know, I will say the Cerberus boss. Whoa, this will be fun. Actually, the Cerberus boss fight in Devil May Cry 3 is pro was one of the better, the best bosses. I complained before how some a lot of. I didn't like a lot of the bosses in Devil May Cry 3. That Centipede, the Leviathan Heart, Jesus Christ, come on. The Leviathan Heart, oh, this is a good time for Sin Devil Trigger. Uh, where was I? The Leviathan Heart, the Shadow Dante thing, just because you could just like, um, stinger your way through the entire battle, basically. Uh, who else? Um, there was a couple that I was complaining about before, and I can't remember them off the top of my head now. Oh boy, Sin Devil Trigger just made short work of him. But yeah, the Cerberus fight was always was really fun, and the Cerberus weapon was really good. Where 
I need to dodge that, or if I just gotta be farther away. And shocking! Probably don't get red ups from that, so I'll get a big bonus from that. Okay, that was fast, but that's just because low difficulty and sin devil trigger. I can't gloat. Hopefully we get a cool, are we going to get like um, a new version of the Cerberus chain, but with like three elements? I would love that. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, now he's got to do one of his show-off montages again. I wouldn't be surprised if it's at the exact same. Basically, re there we go. New elements. That's what I was hoping for. Ooh. Yeah, in all seriousness, this weapon intrigues me way more than that dumb motorcycle. I'm the first one here. I like that. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll I'll put um some red orbs to that thing. Let's see it in action. And we got time. Maybe we can do another level, depending on what happens next. There we go. I actually I actually got an S rank on that. I thought I did terribly. Jackpot. Oh, what's that for? It's like more than one million red orbs total. Oh, hmm. Really? After replaying King Service, power of King Service dwells within the shape shape and wafting, charging attacks with ice fire and lightning in each form. Perfect. Oh, sorry. Got in threes. Okay, cool. I'm down. <coughs> Jesus, what's wrong with my voice? Brothers. Okay. I wonder what this um, chapter is going to be about. We got time. Let's just do another mission. The truth is, I wanted to be protected and loved, but I was alone. My only choice was to survive. V, you gotta rest. Miro. I will tell you everything. There is no demon named Yurzen. Only a man who threw away his humanity in an endless pursuit of power. He is Dante's older brother. Dante's brother? Yes. I suppose, yeah, Nero doesn't know about any of that stuff. And he just knows Yamato it. and doesn't even know where it came from. Virgil. Hmm. Why does Don uh, he seem to have like space famili familiarity? Familiarity. You get you know the word I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Customize. Where is King Cerberus? Revolver. Nice. Okay. I got to before all these. Long revolver. Ice Age. I'm not even reading. I'm just buying all the skills. Okay, cool. We bought all the Cerberus skills. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Why is my voice so squeaky? Approved version of... Yeah. Okay. I'm down for this. I suppose to get the fire attacks, that's based on the um, Swordmaster. Oh, we got enough for level 4. Cool. I'll jump into that. Hot stuff. Percussion 2. Alright. All that big collection of... I was going to say, I'll save this or some, someone more interesting. I just spent, spent them all on Dante just because he had a weapon I really like.
Well, let's test it out. Hopefully it's just as good in the field as it is in show. <clears throat> Virgil. Is this going to be a boss battle or... <clears throat> fruit you've been jabbering about it doesn't look so special to me yep this is where it all started <laughs> that day mother saved me and left you behind the thing you don't know is she tried to save you too she kept searching and searching until I killed her. I have no recollection of this tale. Or this place. It's all an illusion. Created. By this extraordinary fruit. Its power, you see. Is all I ever wanted. And with this. No. I will have. Everything! That's kind of the lame thing also about, you know, because this is, you know, is part of Virgil, but it's only like the evil half and doesn't even really care about any of the things that made him Virgil. No, brother. You don't so it's any... like, it's not even Virgil's personality that in this humanity, um, little have? armor of his. Because... That's taking the other one, and he's so remorseful. That is nothing but the pitiful cries of those without strength. Come to me, brother. I shall enlighten you. Dante! Yeah, that's kind of my point. Just all he ever talks about is power, power, more power, more power. Yeah, I know Virgil was focused on that, but, you know, at least he said more things than that. At least there was an air of jealousy about, like, and jealousy in spite of what he was doing. Now, this is just like, oh, it's just about the power that I wanted, because that's all my ba that evil side wanted. Meanwhile, the actual interesting part of Virgil is not anywhere near this thing. What? Okay, he looks really... Did, how do you get my hat? That looks really dumb. literally all I know and talk about. I am liking the Cerberus though, it's a lot of fun to use. Boy, and it keeps the devil trigger going just with how many times it can hit. Boy, we did not skip a beat after we started using that. Of their existence. 
They must fight. Yeah, and that was a whole dynamic that was explored in Devil May Cry 3 and Devil May Cry Reboot. And it's not even really being explored here because all we got is, oh, power, I'm Urizen. Is that really your brother? I'm afraid so. So he was behind all this. Your own flesh and blood. Right again. In the last throes of defeat, I see. So what happens if... V, get back. Things are about to get really messy. No. Please. Let me. I want to end this battle with my own hands. Is this gonna... Do not struggle. Or if you can't even defeat me, then you've already lost. I will not lose. Tatante, <laughs> I need power. More power. I know. We are one and the same, you and I. But you've lost me, and I've lost you. Yet we are connected by that one feeling. Wow, thy branches mix with mine, and our roots together join. Ooh, it's pulling a fast one. Okay, this might have redeemed your reason a little bit, although it could have happened way sooner. Let's take a look. If this is doing what I think it's, yes. The Alpha and the Omega. Well, that's kind of a dumb descriptor of them. Alright, hell yeah, finally. Someone who might be interesting. Okay. Back to life. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Again, okay, that threw me... Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, let's watch a cutscene then. That was an accident. But, okay. So, I guess, you know, your reason is the hollow, boring half, and V is the interesting one. Now that they're put together, now that we got the whole Virgil, let's see. Oh, I suppose this was his plan all along, so we could get, you know, more power, and also when he's put back together, <clears throat> when he's put back together, because he was already in a state of dying, his body couldn't take it. So I suppose your reason, um, you know, uh, building up to what he is, now combining back with V, is now fixed his body. And probably made it more stronger by default. God, I hope we get to play as him as a playable character, please. You got some pretty big cojones for coming back. Just don't know when to give up! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way, Nero. Now it's personal. 
Defeating you like this has no meaning. Come on, Virgil. Let's do this. Heal your wounds, Dante. Get strong. After that, we'll settle the matter. And it sounds like the original voice actor that was in Devil May Cry 3, so that's good. your brother what happened to V he returned to himself go home Nero this doesn't concern you like hell I lost my right arm because of him this is not your fight I need to stop him and that's all that matters I'm not gonna let you have all the fun Dante you don't get it uh, let me guess I'm dead weight well you can that's show not it Nero. what is it then he's your father what what I had the feeling the first time I saw you, but I just wasn't sure. And then I saw how the Yamato reacted. And I was certain. He's your father. It... But, wait. Okay, now hold on. But I can't have you go kill your old man. Father. I suppose it does make sense considering, you know, you know, people have talked to him. Oh, I suppose that explains why he has actually got power. Because I remember talking, it's like, I thought all of Nero's actual power came from his um, demon arm. But after that severed, did that like wash into him? No, he's just like naturally stronger because he's, um... Well, you know, basically a product like um, Dante and Virgil himself. So he's like Quarter Devil. That day, if our positions were switched, would our fates be different? Would I have your life and you mine? Let's settle this. Dante. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that explains how Virgil would have time to... mate? Putting it lightly? I suppose maybe he did it before Devil May Cry 3. And that's the only time I think he would actually have an opportunity to. Because otherwise, he's just been getting passed around from body to body, corruption to corruption, and locked away in whatever place. Dante, what happened? My dumbass brother's back and I'm gonna rip him a new one. Virgil's? How? Dante, you made it for Lady and she paid for it, so consider it a rental. Hey, you can't just... Okay, okay, we'll take care of that later. Right now, you three get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go take care of old douchebag. Got a feeling this one's gonna be a doozy. And we're gonna have to rewatch this cutscene next time, and this is a long one. Uh, Kaliana on two. Yeah, I think that was na a rocket launcher named after Lady's, uh, deceased ma. Because her dad was nuts. Awakening. Okay. Sorry, now I'm actually kind of excited. Now things are coming to a head in an interesting way. I thought we'd just be stuck with your reason the whole time and have no interesting, like, you know, this... I don't know, how do you describe it? Just like the, you know, this clash of ideology that is um, Virgil and Dante that was really interesting about Devil May Cry 3 and um, the reboot um, when it got to the end. But the end had a lot more intrigue than this a lot sooner. Uh, sorry. So, yeah, okay. Now I'm actually getting really pumped. I'm excited to see what we got next. It's weird. What are you doing? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Just thrown for a loop. This is just taking a shower. What are you laughing about? Okay, um, sorry. Carrying on. So yeah, next time we will continue 
rewatch that cutscene, and then get ready for probably a big Dante level, probably a big Nero level, and then just one big final battle between the two of them. So, I guess we'll see what happens next time. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.